Hello and welcome to today's video. I haven't posted anything in a while because I've been on vacation and I wasn't very active while I was on vacation because my uh, right legs give me a lot of problems. Um, it's not really the leg, it's uh, I've got a, a lesion in my spinal cord uh, in my neck that's uh, possibly acting up uh, which can cause the problems that I'm having. Or it could be new lesions, uh, don't know. Um, had an MRI on Monday of my brain, neck, and back and uh, going to go see the neurologist tomorrow to go over the results, so we'll see what happens. Um, if it is new lesions, then it's possible that I have uh, MS, multiple sclerosis. Um, so if it's that same lesion that's flared up, they can give me some medication to uh, knock it down, but yeah, it's a five-day course of a thousand milligram uh, injections, and they're not fun. But uh, to keep my mind off of it, I've been working on the bidirectional blood boost converter, and uh, as you can see, all these nice little wires are here. Uh, this is all the low voltage wiring uh, that needed to be completed, and now I believe it's almost 100% wired. Uh, I did forget to, uh, I didn't do anything for this, this is the temperature sensor on the heat sink. Um, I can hook that up later. And I didn't get my uh, uh, 48 volt to 12 volt DC to DC converter yet, so here's the 12 volts in. So I'll just hook up to a battery for now or power supply of some kind and uh, just to get it up and running. So uh, we can quickly go through here. I've got, uh, we'll start on this end. I've got uh, the uh, pre-charge circuit is wired up uh, and both of the um, uh, photo couplers, photo MOSFET drivers, photo MOS I guess is what they call them, are wired up and uh, the two voltage senses so I can sense this side and this side. So if I've got something hooked up on the output here we can uh, measure that before we turn the contactor on. Pre-charge, turn the contactor on, vice versa. Then over on the gate driver, we've got power coming in. We've got the uh, PWM going to each of the, this is the top and this is the bottom driver. And they're conveniently labeled if it'll focus. Well, it won't focus. And uh, the saturation detect circuits are all hooked up as well. And then Got this nice little umbilical. Oh, you know, forgot the current sense. So I got the current sensor is now wired up as well. And um, the other current sense is underneath. It's not going anywhere. It's um, it's <laughs> zip tied on there. You can kind of see how I uh, I put like three zip ties. Actually, you can see it better on this one over here. I put like three zip ties around it to center it onto the cable, and then put a uh, zip tie here at the end just to keep it from going anywhere and so it's on that cable pretty good uh, same thing with this one it's just upside down and it shouldn't rotate or anything should be good there and um, what else do we have uh, same thing on the other side I've got I can measure the voltage on this side of the contactor or this or both sides and we got the pre-charge resistor hooked up and um, yeah I think uh, I think that's it we got power coming in and oh and the contactors are wired up now uh, way down on the bottom there's that big connector for the contactors those are all hooked up and we've got this is the programming connector just sticking out the side here for uh, the hockey puck uh, I call it the hockey puck but it's the uh, ICD3 uh, debugger and programmer so that was plug in plug in there and then uh, I'll be able to get this board programmed and got to write a bunch of code for it, and uh, yeah, I think um, I haven't got my VFD display hooked up yet. There's a little eight. There's a port that I'm going to use for that, and not sure I'm going to mount that yet on here. Maybe it'll go on the other side. Who knows? Or I don't know. Um, but for now, I've got the uh, Wi-Fi connector hooked up inside there. You can kind of see the little cable comes out here and then goes around over to here. And that'll allow me to uh, use my laptop to connect to it and get all the parameters and everything real time and set the input and output voltages and everything. So, gotta do an I/O test, make sure everything's actually functional, and then um, yeah, I think we're ready to do some code. And uh, that's my quick update on bidirectional buck boost converter. And I want to show you this. There are 100 and two crazy people that have subscribed <laughs> to my channel which I think is hilarious because yeah it's it's pretty boring stuff but uh, some people like it 
So, uh, yeah, let me know if there's any interesting stuff that you want me to cover or build or do, and uh, I'll see what I can do. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.